everyone, it's Danny from the LAN party. I am sitting down right now to play Don't Starve. I've been playing this file for probably about two and a half minutes. <laughs> I'm only halfway through day one and I wanted to start a new file so that I could show you guys how I begin a really long-term gameplay with this game. Because there's nothing more disappointing than sitting down to play Don't Starve and dying by like day 15. <coughs> but I have a few tips and tricks that I use when I start playing and my first one is that I always forage for as long as I can. And I'll usually forage up until day 6 or 7 where I'm just exploring the map and I'm trying to get as much of it uncovered as possible. You can see I just came from down here. Um, and the main one is beefalo. And besides beefalo being so friggin' adorable it hurts, my reason for hunting beefalo is because they, they become really your only ally in this game. I use beefalo as kind of a defense mechanism. So if I've set up a, a camp right next to a herd of beefalo, well not immediately next to, but right down the street from a herd of beefalo, we're neighbors, we're close. If I've done that and I get attacked by some crazy monster, um, usually a pack of wild dogs is the thing that attacks more often and most dangerously. But you can kite those monsters into the beefalo herd and they just get they get so pissed off that these dogs are barking at them that they just stomp all over them and kill them for you. And you don't ever have to worry about low health early in the game or having to build up armor as quick as you can. <coughs> because those beef will just take care of it for you. So what I look for is the grasslands because that's where the beef will hide. I'm not seeing a lot. There was a little patch down here, but it was too small, so I didn't investigate. And I'll probably kick myself for that, because I bet that's where the beefalo are. But let's see what's up here first. My other thing is I don't stop for night in the first few days. You can see it's about to become nightfall. But as long as I have a general idea of where I'm going and that it's fairly safe, like here. <clears throat> These are a lot of rocks, a lot of trees in this area. I know I'm not gonna get like attacked by giant hordes of spiders quite yet. And since I'm playing Willow, I have her lighter to keep me keep me out of the darkness. And with that I can continue exploring and continue figuring out the map longer and longer. I feel like usually stopping to sit and just wasting that extra minute or so at night is just not worth it this early in the game because you have to be fast. Alright, we got plenty of boulders and things in this area, which is really good. You're going to want stone later on in the game. But no sign of beefalo. Those evasive, hairy bastards. The other cool thing about Willow is that she, I mean, you can use her little lighter to set things on fire, like this. And that, if you stand right in the middle of it, that raises her sanity level. You can see that little arrow going up over there. The other thing is that she's very, like, you, she's hard to freeze to death, <laughs> if that makes sense. She, if she gets cold, you just find the first thing. the first thing that's unimportant and set it on fire and you just stand in it. So that's really handy later in the winter. Um, so now's about the time I'll probably start building some tools. I'll get my axe and my pickaxe, but I'm already running out of room in my inventory. I do need gold in order to start building the science machine, so I'll usually take one of those. 
But again, most important, find beefalo. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna keep on going. And go back down the way I came. I sort of become a hoarder when I start playing this. <laughs> because I just pick up literally everything that comes my way. Except for, and you'll notice, I leave the flowers alone. Ooh, hello marble. I leave flowers alone always unless my sanity is like really dropping and then I know where the flowers are. I keep like a mental log and I'll just go like rushing to them. But they're just completely useless. Oh, hello bird. <laughs> I'm gonna steer clear of him for now. And remember there's a bird up by the marble. Um, but the flowers are completely useless unless you're picking them for sanity. So having them in your inventory or just picking them and wasting them, not a good idea. Especially because they don't, they don't grow back. Um, carrots are another thing I don't grow when I'm, or I don't pick when I'm foraging because those also don't grow back. <coughs> carrots are best to leave until, I like using them like midway through winter when there's really, like, I'm low on food, there's not a lot left. And I'll run out and I'll grab the carrots because they go bad in your inventory if you don't eat them right away, but sitting in the ground, then they're good the entire game. Ah, we got pigs. King pig! I shall worship you. I like having pigs around too. They don't they're not as good as beefalo, but they do they do poop a lot if you feed them. And they really like to grow nice big piles of grass for me. <laughs> King pig. I like that they get they get pissy too. Like you get too close to the pig and they're like, you back off. You back off. <laughs> Alright, where am I? There's gotta be a connecting little connecting bridge over here maybe? Yeah. Nope. Yes. Getting ahead of myself. The orange, orange trees early on in the game because that, I mean, that's how you tell what season it is. So I just started in fall, which is great for me because I'm much better at surviving winter than I am summer. And that means I have all that extra time to prepare for summer. Hey, honey. <laughs> ha! Should eat some things. Well, we've got grassland with rabbits on it, which is better than nothing. Grassland with beefalo would be better for me. We've gone quite a ways already. Yeah, yeah. She's telling me that night is coming. And once again, I'm telling her that I don't care. There's some carrots. I know those are there for later. And I'm stuck down here. I am seriously going to kick myself if there are beef uh, beefaloes hiding right up there. Yeah, the maps are insanely large. Um, <laughs> I believe I've I've played files where I've covered from one end of this to the other. All 
I've also played files where I've completely settled down and gotten all the things I need ready for one side of the map and gone out and explored to the other side and realized I should have started over there and how much better that would have been. Complete waste. Usually when I play, so I'm on day two right now. It's going to be day three pretty soon, but if I don't get everything set up the way I like it, like I don't find the beefaloes, um, there's not a lot of good foraging and things, then I will usually just restart the game. Because the map regenerates every time and it's, it's not, if it's not in your favor then you're not going to get very far. Aw, somebody died up here. I wonder if it was that cat coon. Jerk. <laughs> I don't generally pick the mushrooms until later in the game when I have a crock pot going. Then you can use them as an ingredient and they're helpful then, but until then they they don't do a lot. Alright, so again I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my little lighter on. And keep exploring these woods without stopping. Because it's still, it's only day two. I'll probably do that again the next time night comes also. Just to cover more time in the map. As for a time limit with this game, um, I, I, you can, I don't know how many days you can play this. Um, I have played my longest, I think, was probably around 75 days. I've seen people Twitch streaming up around like 400 days. Um, things change, the seasons change, so after 21 days it becomes, this, this file become winter. It's fall right now. And then winter lasts 16 days. And usually once you can make it through that, you're golden. If I don't find beefies soon though, then this, this file might just be a bust. That looks like it's all forest up there. Keep going. Plenty of flowers in this forest, that's helpful later when I need sanity. Aw, oh, really? I came all the way down here and there's nothing. Alright, alright. With <laughs> the sleeping cat coons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did have a petal. Oh well. I'm accidentally picking flower. Remember not to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm generally just kind of hoarding other supplies, like the stone is really good to hoard onto. Um, flint is not as important, but it's good to have. And of course, twigs. Um, you can only carry, uh, the twigs and the grass in stacks of 40. So I'll usually get 40 of each and then just stop. They take up an awful lot of room. I actually, I noticed I wasn't paying attention and I did grab an extra four. Oops. Hmm. I don't even know where to go for beefalo right now. This whole area that I'm in right now looks like it's completely just cut off from the rest of the map, so I'm get myself out of there. There are flowers and catcoons, I can use those later on. <laughs> King pig. Go 
grab an extra rock. I do habitually look back and forth at the map constantly. Oh, seeds are good to hoard, but they do go bad after a while. Alright, then it looks like I'm gonna go straight up into this area. Over and up. I noticed that the life on my little rabbit down here is starting to go down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him. <laughs> I get extra time. When I do eventually build a fire, then I'll start cooking some food. I like finding roads, since they're super speedy. They're another really good way to cover a big part of the map quickly. Oh, the frogs freak me out. <laughs> I actually have like a real life phobia against frogs, so seeing those creepy little things hop around just like... Whoa. I usually stay out of the wormholes, especially later in the game. If I don't see a wormhole like in the first 30 seconds, then I won't jump in it, but let's let's gamble on him and see where it takes us, because this map No beefalo. Where did I end up? Well, okay, alright. It's somewhere new. Let's see what's over here. It's a lot of islands. Well, you know what? I guess this is where I call it a day. It's day three, it's about to be day four. Um, usually, usually by about day four, if I haven't found things that really convince me to stick with this map, then it's just pointless. There's just no need. So... I guess thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry we couldn't find beefaloes. Maybe next time. Um, you know, the Lamb Party puts out podcasts every Tuesdays on YouTube. You can follow us there. You can follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Uh, we will be putting out more Twitch streams and fun stuff. And I'm so disappointed with not finding beefaloes. <laughs> I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you guys.